And good evening. The world's attention focused on coronavirus this evening as health officials confirm six people have died from the virus here in the U.S. FEMA is planning for the possibility that the president might make an emergency declaration to bring in personnel and extra money to assist in a response. News 4's Alexandria Adams spoke with people about their thoughts on how it's all being handled. She's live at the Metro Health Department right now with more. Alexandria. Tom, the mayor, along with the health department, says that they are monitoring things and that they have a plan in place. But the folks we spoke with today here in Nashville fear that an outbreak is bound to happen. I think it's inevitable that there is going to be an outbreak in the states. And I don't know that the government can really control it. I, I don't think it's any fault of theirs. I just think that um, it's a virus that's going to spread kind of like the flu. Shelly Fossick says she and her family are planning a trip. And coronavirus has ignited questions on whether or not they should continue with their plans. Yes, we're going to Disney World in two weeks, and it's been a topic of discussion of whether or not we should cancel our plans. And we decided to drive because of the fear of airports and, and, and germs. According to the CDC, there are more than 90 confirmed cases here in the U.S., five of those resulting in deaths in Washington state. People we spoke with say they're washing their hands more. Some say they're avoiding travel, but others say we can't let it stop us from our day to day lives. I think it's important to take reasonable precautions, but not to panic. And I trust that the people in charge are taking it seriously because no one wants to have a pandemic on their hands. I mean, we can't let it halt our lives. Now, it wouldn't be the first time that FEMA is used in a medical event. Back in 2000, President Clinton used an emergency declaration for outbreaks of West Nile virus in New York and New Jersey. $5 million in federal aid money was ordered. Tom. Alexandria Adams, live for us tonight. Thank you.